Come Scarlet and Violet, rainbow cards are coming out of the Pokemon TCG, but what are the top 10 most expensive Pokemon rainbow cards? Well, let's go and find out. So rainbow cards, some people like them, some people hate them, but we cannot deny that some of the most expensive and valuable cards are actually rainbow cards, especially in older era sets. But as we go into the Scarlet and Violet era, rainbow cards are going to be disappearing. Will they make a return? We'll have to wait and see. But in this video, we'll be going through the top 10 most expensive rainbow cards. So let's find out what they are. Coming number 10, we have the Charizard Rainbow V-Star from Brilliant Stars. Now, we know this card is fantastic and it's... You know, you know it's going to be a good top 10 if this is only coming in at number 10. That is pretty crazy. Seeing at around $72 right now. And it has been going down over the past few months, which is quite interesting because Brilliant Stars booster boxes are getting more expensive. However, this is still one of the hardest cards to pull in the set. It is the second most expensive card. It's a fan favorite, Charizard, of course. And this is sitting around, like I say, $72 isn't that bad. As Fallen from Grace, it was, you know, around the $80 mark. We go back to, since the release of this card, it came out extremely strong, but has dropped basically $100 since its release however coming in at number 10 at 72 dollars is a pretty high point this card kind of shows how nice rainbow cards can be now there's some rainbow cards which isn't the greatest however the rainbow v stars i think across the trainer gallery sets have been really good you know really good quality the cards look really nice and this Charizard is a beautiful card. However, it is only number 10. Then at number 9, we have the Eevee and Snorlax Rainbow GX from Team Up. Now, Team Up is a very difficult set to get hold of in the Sun and Moon era. Very, very expensive. Had a very small print run, in fact. And this card is sitting at $79. It's actually one of the most expensive cards in the set. There are some cards which are very, very expensive, but they're not rainbows. This is the most expensive rainbow. $79. This is a beautiful looking card. I love the fact that Eevee's just chilling on the Snorlax right there. We go back six months and we can see this card has just been climbing. Pretty much all of the cards in Team Up have been going up over time. Now, Team Up booster boxes in some places have reached nearly as high as $1,000. So it'd be really interesting to see how a lot of the cards in the set go over time. And already this card has been going. We go back a year, this card has been just climbing so, so much. $62 to $63 up to $79. Before we know it, this card will be $100 or more. This is a fantastic card from an extremely difficult set. Hard pull rates as well. Yeah, this is a good one. Next, we have the Charizard and Braxton GX Secret Rare, so the Rainbow Rare from Cosmic Eclipse. Now, I love Cosmic Eclipse. Charizard, again, another fan favorite. I love the tag team duo cards, just like we saw the Eevee and the Snorlax. Cosmic Eclipse booster boxes are expensive. You know, you're looking over $500 a box, uh, you know, and this is a beautiful looking card. Sitting at $96 right now, it has climbed you know, a little bit over the last few months we go back an entire year it actually was over a hundred dollars and it did actually take a little bit of a dive but it's on the uh you know return back up to that hundred dollar mark be interesting to see where this card you know kind of stays whether or not it'll go back up to 100 and beyond like i say cosmic eclipse is getting hard to get hold of however in the sword and shield era there have been cosmic eclipse packs which have appeared in other supplemental products like tins collection boxes and things like that so it'll be interesting to see how cosmic eclipse cards down the line especially rainbow ones will fare because i do feel like it could go up over time then we have the rayquaza gx it's from next we have the rayquaza gx from celestial storm this is a beautiful looking card rayquaza fan favorite as we've seen from sets like evolving skies however this is a rainbow and this is an absolutely beautiful card don't forget in the sun and moon era rainbows were like some of the hardest rarest cards to get hold of and a lot of them hold a lot of good value compared to the sword and shield era a lot of the sword and shield ones didn't really hold incredible value however this one in particular has let's take a look at this $107 for this Rayquaza and again it has gone up slightly we go back a year overall it has taken a dip it was sitting around 120 above the 120 mark and then it did take a drop you know from 123 to around 102 and it's slowly on the uptick so it's interesting to see how it'll go forward you know it's a bit pricey it is you know booster boxes are you know $400 or more it is not a cheap set However, there's not a ton of amazing cards in Celestial Storm. This is, you know, obviously an exception, but it is, again, a very hard set to get hold of from the Sun and Moon era. Next, we have the Mewtwo and Mew GX. Now, I actually had this in my top 10 Mewtwo's, and this was the top of that list in Unified Minds. Let's take a look at this. 100 and basically $27 for this card. Over the last three months, it has climbed. We go back a year. This awesome awesome looking tag team card has been going up quite a bit you know going from around 92 dollars to 126 27 that's very very impressive it is from unified minds which is one of my favorite all-time sets especially from the sun and moon era i think it's just an absolute 
amazing set. Booster boxes though are not cheap. You know, again, we're looking at you know four hundred dollars or more for a booster box, and you know packs get more expensive. Very tough card to pull. If you love Mew, you love Mew too. This is a must-have card, I think, in any collection for people that love those two Pokemon. Coming into the top five, we have the Reshiram and Charizard Rainbow Rare from Unbroken Bonds. Now it's a fantastic set with some fantastic cards, and this is definitely one of them. Reshiram and Charizard, beautiful selling card. We're looking at $138. Has actually dropped over the past three months, going from 145 down to 138. Let's go back a year. It's been going down ever since, you know, over the past year, 163, now down to that 138 mark. Interesting to see how far it'll drop. Charizard, fan favorite, usually holds good value, especially from a set like Unbroken Bonds. There's a few really good cards in that set, and this is definitely one of them. Rush Ram as well, awesome. Tag team cards for me, I think are very cool. I would like to see them return in the future, but yeah, I do feel like this will probably bounce back up over time. I don't know the reason why it is currently dropping, but some of the other Rainbow Rares that we've been seeing, yeah, very, very cool card indeed. Next up, we have the Lugia Rainbow GX from Lost Thunder. Now, I absolutely love Lost Thunder. It's one of my favorite sets. Booster boxes are pretty expensive. Packs are pretty expensive. This is the biggest card in the set. Very similar to something like Silver Tempest. This is the chase card in Lost Thunder. Fan favorite Lugia, one of my favorite all-time Pokemon. This is a stunning card. We're looking at 149. So, we look back a year has dropped but it bounced back up so it's on the return very similar to some of the other cards which are kind of been going up in value really tough card to pull from lost thunder not gonna be easy lugia fan favorite similar to like the lugia alt art from silver tempest which i feel will go back up over time lugia gx again is going to be really good anything from sun and moon is just going to be really good for that long term next we have a card from the sword and shield era we have the chonka chu himself the pikachu v max rainbow from vivid voltage this has been a chase card for people from vivid voltage for us since it's been released and i have never pulled it it'd be amazing to have in my collection i just think it's so cool let's take a look at this it has actually gone up quite a bit guys over the last three months so it was as low as 130 and it's now 167 it was over 170 that's pretty insane i thought this card was around 120 for the longest time but clearly not Let's go back a year. It has actually dropped on the uptick. It has actually gone down and bounced back up. So it was at that 180 and then it went down to that 130 mark, which is what I was thinking about. And it stayed around that 130, 130. Now we're looking at close to 170. It's on that uptick again. Vivid Voltage booster boxes pretty much stayed the same. They haven't really gone up in value or down in value. This is the only real card in the set that's worth any real value. So it's a proper chase for this card. It's very, very, it's very, very difficult to pull this card. Like you'd have to open up so many booster packs. If you can find a good one for a good price, that's probably your best way of collecting this uh, big old chunky boy. But it's a very iconic card. This is now on the top spot. We have the Rainbow Charizard V Max from Champions Path. Now I actually have this in my collection. It did get it graded and it did come back in a PSA 10, so I'm super happy to have that in my collection. Champions Pop is a set which isn't the best to open. There's two cards in the set which are worth value. This and the shiny Charizard V. If you don't pull either of them, you're not really making much money back on any of the packs you're opening or even purchasing, right? We can't take away from how amazing this Charizard is. This Charizard is absolutely fantastic. $190 has actually bounced back up. So over the last three months, it was around that 175. It did go to around 200 now we're looking at 190 we go back a year it is still trying to get back up to where it was during the pandemic this card was really expensive similar to the shiny charizard v max from shining fates however the hype kind of died down so the charizard prices have dropped although it is on the bounce back so this card was around 250 and it did drop to as low as 170 but going back up to 190 i wouldn't expect it to take that long for this card to go back up over $200. It was interesting to see how the journey of this Charizard will go. Like I say, absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, before we get into the most expensive rainbow card, if it's fun to the video and you've enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe for more Pokemon content. And guys, let me know down in the comments which ones of these are your favorite and do you have any of these cards? Because number one is a big one and I definitely don't have it. Number one, of course, is the Rainbow Charizard GX from Burning Shadows. Now, this is a big card from a set that isn't that easy to get hold of. But not only that, this card is so difficult to pull. I mean, so, so difficult to pull. If you have this card and you have it graded, fantastic. This card is a big hitter. We're looking at $400 for this card, which is absolutely incredible like it absolutely smashes way past that champion's path charizard which is not even half the price of this 400 dollars has actually dropped it was sitting at around 425 420 and like i say it's now down to around 400 dollars we've seen similar price trends 
to the shiny Charizard GX from Hidden Fates, which is the same artwork, but the shiny version. That actually dropped below 400, and so is this. But it's bouncing back up. We go back a year. This card has been doing all sorts, really. It's been climbing for the longest time, and then it had that mad drop. So it's interesting to see this club try and bounce back over time. Burning Shadows, use the boxes aren't cheap. The pull rates are really tough. If you could pull this, like I say, incredible, absolutely incredible. If you love Charizard, this is one of the pieces that you need in any Charizard collection because it is just that awesome and just that rare. There you have it, guys. Those are the top 10 most expensive rainbow cards that we have right now. But we're going into the Scarlet and Violet era where rainbows are not going to be in it. Will they come back later on in the era? We'll have to wait and see. But these are fantastic looking cards from the GXs and the tag teams of course the VMAXs that we saw in the Sword and Shield era. Sun and Moon, like I say, is going to be very, very pricey and I think those cards will bounce up over time. However, a lot of the Rainbow Rares from the Sword and Shield era haven't actually done that great except the Chonkachu and of course that Rainbow Charizard VMAX from Champion's Path. But those are the top 10 most expensive Rainbow cards, but if you want to know what the top 10 most expensive alt art cards are, then make sure to click on this video right here. And if you want to watch more Pokemon content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Alright guys, that is it from me in this video. As always, you guys are the legends and I'll see you all in the next one.